video intro. It is now. <laughs> it's actually a nice setup. guys what's up it's Jed with another video thanks for stopping by again in this video we're gonna be deleting the radio and the speakers out of the car out of the RSX why am I doing that because it's because because race car <laughs> it's a track car I'm not really driving on the street I'd rather have the weight reduction and I'd rather hear the car to be honest it's actually quite a simple like uh, procedure it's just a little bit tedious because for the doors, you gotta take off the entire door panel. Um, I already have the, the, the parts for the radio delete. The easiest is probably back here and the speakers in the back. My subwoofer's already out and there is an amp under the passenger seat, but I'm probably not gonna take that out just yet because I just, I think to get to it, I have to remove the seat and I don't wanna do all that. So first, we're gonna do the back. All right, first and foremost, here in the back, hopefully you, you can see this. These uh, speaker panels, they have a little like opening right here where you could put like a flathead and just dig in there and there you go. There. So there's that and then there's the speaker. All you need is a Phillips and there's three screws. So let me undo these right quick. All right, so got the screws out, pop this out, it's not that hard. And right here is there, there's a clip. Just undo that, I'll do that right quick. And there you have it. It's just a clip, there's two, uh, two tabs on the side of it that you just squeeze and then pull it off. So yeah, there's the, oh look, I picked up the screws with the magnet. But yeah, this thing has a few pounds to it. I'm gonna do that on the other side now. It's pretty simple and I'm not going to record it because it's the same thing. And then we'll move on to the door. Wait a minute. These OEM speakers are Bose? Huh. Well, you know what they say. No highs, no lows. Must be Bose. Oh. <laughs> All right, so for the door cards, it, yeah, there, there's a screw right here. Any more? Uh, I think there's... No, there's, I don't think there's one in there. There's one in here. Uh, get a flathead or something to dig into this right here so you can pop that out and unplug that uh, to get in here there's a screw in here there's like a little tab or something in here that you lift up I believe and then the plastic thing comes out uh, and that the screws behind there those are what keep the keep the door secure or the door card secure uh, but after you take those out you just pop it out but you also need to remove this the mirror cap thing so yeah let's get to it do the door speakers and you just reverse from there uh, just keep in mind the mirror cap piece right here it just pries off there's nothing too special about that and to remove the actual mechanism for the door handle you do need to mess with this part right here it holds on to the cable 
that goes to the door latch. So you just need to kind of move it out of the way, you know, it's not that hard. To remove the radio, this panel here with a cigarette charger, cigarette lighter charger or whatever, has uh, little openings on the side here. You just get a flathead and just pry it out. Another one over here, I think. It's the same on this side. There we go. And then just disconnect this for now. All right, guys, so it took a while, but we finally got it out. The only two screws you really need to mess with is under the radio right here. It's all the way like kind of in the back. And depending on how old the radio is and all stuff, it was kind of a bitch to, to get out. So me and Steve had to like double team it. He had to like push up and push up from the bottom here while I was prying from the outside with a screwdriver. Eventually it popped out, but it took a while. From there you just unclip your hazard, your antenna, your actual radio harness, uh, and then there's two screws to the hazard button right here, just unscrew them and then take it out, transfer that over to the to the leaf, the, the leaf plate. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so I got the, uh, the leaf plate right here. First thing I want to do is screw on that hazard button. Let me do that right quick. Back here on the, the leaf plate, there's these little like slots and stuff. That's where you put all like down here. You put the antenna, the radio harness you put in here. It's you know just so these things aren't just flopping around in here. Pretty convenient. Well, the radio harness probably won't be able to reach all the way over here. Nah, probably not. Oh well, just gonna put it in now. And that's it. <laughs> that's really it. So, <laughs> where this panel connects to this double din, I just put a bunch of like gasket maker just to basically glue it in. So, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Radio delete done. Alright guys, so that's about it. Uh, I deleted the factory subwoofer, so I didn't have to do that. There, the uh, factory amp under the passenger seat will have to wait until another day. But yeah, so, so it's getting closer and closer to being a full race car. No radio nonsense. If this video was informative and all that, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, subscribe. Hit that bell. Follow me and Steve on, on Instagram. All that stuff. And see you all in the next one. Peace.